Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Switzer Lake in Europe, Universe Alice 4. Look at that fantastic income. We're starting to get 23 ducats a month. One thing we haven't looked at in a long time is trade, so I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, I disabled the, mer the merchants over here. So let's turn that back on for a moment. Currently, we are steering from Vienna toward here. This is our main trading port. We have 21% control. Not bad. We're steering here as well. We look like we're getting a, a pretty darn good caravan trade power bonus. We have a base development of 269, so we have the full bonus from Caravan Trade Power. We are overextended, so we're having a hard time steering in this direction. And we're going to get 20% bonus to Trade Power Manipulation, so I don't really think there's much we can do. I mean, we would obviously like to continue to expand into the Rhineland. And eventually, maybe start to expand into Vienna, or up here into the Saxony Node. I mean, every province we take in this general area is good. This is our borders here. If we could take Metz, that'd be a good province. 27 development as well. This guy is allied to Bavaria, our rival, and allied to Savoy, um, who used to be our rival. It is an accepted culture, so this would definitely be a good province for us right now. It would be right up against... We have a truce with them, though. They were part of the previous war, so we can't do anything about that just yet. Baden. Allied to no one that matters. Cultural Union, if I remember correctly. Yep, yeah, so that would be fine. Part of the Rhineland. So that would also be fine. And it's only 8 development. And we have no truce at the moment. This would be a good, a good war. We could probably take this province, like, right now. So let's go ahead and uh, come back from Brabant. Let's wait till January. Brittany will cede Nantes and Anjou to France. Big Blue Blob is Blobbin. So it was Baden we wanted to attack. Well, it's Alsace who owns Baden. I think we could easily afford the aggressive expansion for that one. Things are looking great right now. I mean, we're doing fantastic. The The aggressive expansion is going to tick back very quickly. 3.1 per year. That's amazing. You know, we're up from the base to almost fi more than 50% back because of our very high prestige. Better relations over time plus 49%. And then we do have the better relations over time guy, which, curiously, you know, I would have expected... Better relations over time... Oh, right, because we're overextended. I was going to say, I would have expected this to be at like 70%, but overextension apparently must be like multiplicative because I think what it's doing is like 170 times 0. Uh, 0.87 equals 148. 148% of the normal recovery because, or something, I don't know, it's doing something because I would expect if the base recovery is at 2, whatever, 2 times 1.7. We should be recovering at 3.4 per year. We just have to finish our course. Don't worry about it, okay? It's coming back quickly. That's all that matters. And I'm loving our ideas. This is a fantastic campaign so far. We're doing fantastic. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We're kicking ass. We're going to go ahead and train up a couple more cannons. That gives us 10 cannons. I don't want to go any higher than that, because 10 cannons will be perfect for the number of forts that we're dealing, level of forts we're dealing with right now. But we actually are starting to get to that point. Force limit's getting high enough, we could consider two stacks. Once we have the ability to, two, to do two stacks, I'll probably fall back to my, my standard layout, which I've been using the last few campaigns, which is 12-2-6. I feel pretty good about that. It just works so well against level 1, 2, and 3 forts. Because the, the math just works out. For a level 1 fort, you need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 cannons to get the different various bonuses. For a level 2 fort, you need 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, which again works really well if you've got 6 uh, artillery in each stack. And then for the level 3 fort, it goes 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, which might not sound like it's going to work out perfectly, but then you realize you combine two of those stacks, you've got 12 cannons, which is a plus 3 bonus against a level 3 fort. So at all levels, Either one stack or two stacks has a good, it's a good threshold. Good common denominators. 
So I like I like that composition a lot. <laughs> In fact, let's even start building into it. Maybe we'll go even maybe a tiny bit heavier. No. No, we gotta start friend on the front line. Grand Army. You're still so far ahead of time on tech, too. Like, the Monarch, the monarch points are just nuts right now. We're generating 34 Monarch points a month. It is so good. 34! That's like a development per month, practically. If we wanted to. Well, maybe not quite. I exaggerate. It's a development every month and a half. It's a lot, okay? Just humor me. It's a lot. Okay, can we? Yes, we will take this idea. Uh, land force summit plus 20%. Excellent. Let's fill in more infantry in the front line. Force summit's now 36. We'll go... up to there. We'll go two more on this one. Manpower's doing fine. Of course we're going to re-elect. Who cares about Republican tradition? I mean, whatever. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could go up to like 777? Just like keep going up. I have a 101010 10, 10 general. Or leader. Man, this is getting really low though. I'm getting kind of nervous about that. Uh, but you can't you can't pass up on him. He's too good. Of course, Murphy's Law. He's going to die tomorrow. But still. Got a claim. Cool. Reduce overextension. Absolutely. We're at 73%. By all means. We'll take that free Diplo rep. Okay, we've got uh, 12 in the front here, 12 in the front here. We need two more cav, two more cannons, and we've got two, two, uh, 220 stacks. I'm actually really impressed with how well this campaign is going. We're already moving into this like mid to late game composition that I like, and we're only 50 years into the game. Starting as a four province miner, that's, that's pretty amazing. It's been a good run. Meanwhile, the Milanese separatists are causing Minor issues. We don't need to be at full maintenance right now. Once the overextension goes away, I think we're going to probably drop that on rest. Yeah, it's perfect. Go right down to zero. Let's go ahead and drop maintenance while we wait for the course to finish. Now we could attack this guy immediately. We have to fight Mines. Mines is a three province miner right now. Our army would completely crush his. Supplies only 23 here. Let's let's just go with a one stack for this this war. Oh, by the way, can we hire another general? I want to be recruiting generals as often as we can. In 98. Hey, that's this year. Okay. In July. That's like two months away. <laughs> See the little internal timer just went off and said, hey, you should be attacking. So even though we've got these nice little compositions, let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, you know what? Five is going to be perfect for that, that fort there. Mines does have a level three, but... Okay. Never mind about the maintenance, I guess we're going to raise it again. Spare no expense. Uh, for Diplo points? Hmm. Well, it costs us 67 Monarch points to get rid of 2 inflation. So... 67 divided by 4. That's 16 admin... 16.75 admin points to gain 50 Diplo points. If I had a button that I could press to convert 1 admin point into 3 Diplo points, how often would I click it? I mean, you could just spam the hell out of development that way. I still think it's worthwhile. Either that or just take 10 for free. Hmm. So really, it's more like 40 dip load that we're gaining. So 40 dip divided by... 67 divided by 50... by 40. Sixty-seven divided by four. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm gonna keep on doing that. I, I think it's fine. <laughs> Not to mention, we may end up going diplomatic ideas someday. Or sorry, uh, economic ideas someday. In which case we would still be looking fine. We could actually end up having negative... Uh, not to, isn't there... There's an advisor you can hire. Right in here. The minister. So, maybe we just hire him eventually, and then... It's even more worthwhile. We'd definitely like to be at full morale. He's on tech 8, which is kind of annoying, but we're gonna be able to stack wipe him. Practically instantly. In fact, if I wanted to overcommit, I could just throw all 36,000 of my troops at that. Anything over 30 to just instant wipe it. We could time it. It only takes us like six days to get there. I think we will do that. Our first move will be with the full stack, and then we'll split up beyond that. So let's declare next month. Top off relations with France. We'll declare right now. As soon as you get there on the 7th, I should have done that a couple days earlier, because now he's going to try to move. Rival of a rival, make Nuremberg like us. We're back and forth on these missions. Okay, so we get our whole army together. We go do the squish. Hopefully we can avoid the attrition tick. I think we can. So insta squish, thank you for the 4 war score. Split, one guy goes there. And you can appoint this guy. And yeah, we're going to be out of our... Out of these provinces, good to go. We have the better guy for combat, heading into mines. Should see an army, yep. I think we'll go engage it, it's woods. Do we engage it, or do we just let him be there and... ...cause no issues? I mean, I'm gonna have to siege this down no matter what, and he's not gonna be able to contest either of my armies. If I don't fight him, he'll probably... ...come annoy me over here though. Yeah, let's just go fight him. Crossing penalty is gonna be kinda crap. And he's a 2-3 general, but we have so many more troops. And let's find out how just... If, if it's even going to deploy in a way that we're getting maximum flanking. It is not. We could totally have one more... That infant... Well, I just... I, I would have put the cab on the very edge. Yeah. I don't like the deployment. I don't like the way that they do it. Okay, so we got a level 2 fort, level 3 fort, and a singular province. Grab an infantry, go do that. We will split in half, put the siege leader on the capital. Uh, we want... probably four of the cannons to go that way. And we'll get started on the capital. And this war was very, very easy. From mines, we'll take uh, income. We'll take war reps. We'll take... We'll just take his money. That sucks. Nice wall breach. Lovely. Probably drop maintenance slightly. Just enough to maintain in case we suffer any... Uh, Diseases, or whatever they're called. Okay. This is all fine. Could ask you for a contribution. It's not very much money. I'd like your influence to be higher. Makes this much bigger. We do want to grant the generalship. I think we have a, a spare slot open. Yes, we do. I'm not too worried about this guy coming up too much higher. We'll just grant the generalship just for fun. How is our army tradition doing? Still just 17. It's kind of crap. Let's get that general. What did we get? It was a 4-3. Excellent. So we've got our... What I would consider to be our first, like, pseudo-god general. He's pretty good. I mean, he's not amazing, but he's, he's pretty good. This really doesn't need to be this many troops. Let's grab half the infantry. Pull them off. Never mind. We'll head up to here. That's the province we're going to take, so we'd rather not loot it, if at all possible. We'll take you just up to here for now. We'll drop off half the half the infantry falls. In fact, we'll take the cav. 
We already have enough troops there, so let's just take all the infantry and nothing but the cannons. We did suffer not quite reinforcing enough. I should have done more like 60% reinforcement, it looks like. Nice, easy war. Out of curiosity, if I were to piece you out right now, how's the coalition look? None. Wonderful. No one cares what we're doing. We're doing nothing. <laughs> we're not doing anything inappropriate, I promise, game. Right? Okay, we only have the one siege bonus there. How is that possible? Oh man. Yeah. I guess 66 or something percent. We must have had a winter. We're suffering 3% attrition. And we're only able to reinforce at 5% of each regiment, so 50 troops. So because of that, we're... Yeah, it's just bad. Come on, let's wrap this one up. Now, there's really no huge rush in piecing this guy out. So I think we'll just go down to no maintenance at all. And loot him for a bit. Let's get a little bit of free maintenance. It's not the same. <laughs> Pardon me. It's not quite the same as being like a horde and actually actively gaining money from looting. Because of your looting strength. But, I guess a few months of... No maintenance is better than having a few months of full maintenance, so... till he runs out of money. All we're really waiting is a little bit of passage of time so that we can... get our aggressive expansion to tick down, and... You know, eventually I do want to fabricate a claim on you here. Our truce comes up in... 503. 1503. Can we attack Württemberg? Yeah. We could totally attack Württemberg. You're not a free city, right? Nothing special, right? I already have a claim on Württemberg, never mind. Fighting Memmingen? I'm gonna be able to take that a little bit sooner than I expected. Okay, it looks like uh, we're gonna dive right into this next war then, why not? Alright, so we're going to separate PCU. I want all your money. I want you to give me enforced military access for the prestige. I want you to give me war reps. Potential trade power. We're going to cancel both of those things. I just want prestige. We're going to put together an engineered army for this guy. It's farmlands. He's got seven in the front. So we want to just take, I think, seven infantry. Let's make it uh, nine infantry and two cavalry. And... Nine cannons. Like I said, um... Yeah. We'll take our 4-3. We're not gonna worry about the river. Well, actually... Yeah, four threes. No, actually, no. Yeah, four threes is gonna be our best guy. I'm probably way overthinking a lot of this stuff, but it's fine. I think we immediately just full annex this guy, right? Love the sixteen month coring time. No valid rival. Can we rival somebody? Rival Castile? Look at that, we have double Castile's army. That's nuts. No, I think we're gonna attack Württemberg right now. Well, as soon as we get some morale. Love that two-star general. And, uh... Next, we are gonna be bordering Bavaria. So we'll be able to dive into this war right away. 
We've allied Frankfurt as well, who's adjacent to us. A six stack there. Um, you know, in that case, I'm gonna just shuffle balance the armies. We're gonna have an equal equal thing. We'll just hit both armies at the same time. It's not gonna be perfectly engineered, but whatever. It's better to engage them both before they can do anything annoying. Both both uh, flat terrain. We're just gonna smash his face in, and then this army we'll deal with after. We do have a level three fort and a level one fort. Wonderful. This guy here has no siege value. So we'll pull him off at some point in the near future. One more month to recover morale, and then we'll do it. Okay. We have a lot of money now. I'm not going to build marketplaces, because those are kind of stupid. We're going to build workshops. And, and then we're going to build temples. I'll even take the point of seven. Okay, he's going to call in his allies. We don't care. Oh, right. This is not my land, is it? Crap. <laughs> For some reason, I, I thought that mine's land was my land. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break here, but I do look forward to seeing you again in the next episode where we'll continue to smash face. Unfortunately, we are out of power projection already. We need to insult this guy. There we go. Alright, I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.